Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan.
President, this concludes the honors. Thank you. Mr. President, it's a great pleasure to welcome you and Madam Benjadid to Washington today. Yours is the first state visit to the United States by an Algerian president. As the head of Africa's second largest nation and an acknowledged leader in the Arab, African, and non-aligned nations, your views on a wide range of issues carry great importance. Our mutual concerns about Middle East peace North African stability and African economic development and political process, or progress, I should say, are among items which I look forward to discussing with you. Through these discussions, we seek understanding and progress. We seek to enhance the cooperation of our governments and improve the well-being of our peoples. The ties between our two peoples and governments have grown over the past few years. We Americans particularly welcome the return of cordial relations which existed in the early days of your independence. Your visit gives us an opportunity to further strengthen our bilateral ties. In this respect, I note with satisfaction that we will sign tomorrow an agreement to establish a joint economic commission and will shortly conclude an accord on cultural exchanges. These achievements are tangible signs that the relations between the United States and Algeria are moving in a positive direction. And they're only two of the areas in which our interests coincide and are growing. Your visit should serve as a catalyst for further friendship building activities between our peoples and governments. The United States is already one of Algeria's major trading partners. We buy hydrocarbons from you and market American goods, services, and technology in your country. And this exchange benefits both our peoples. Let us continue to explore ways of encouraging this commerce and equalizing our balance of trade so we can invigorate both our economies. I'm aware, Mr. President, of your particular interest in American agriculture especially our irrigation methods and farmer technology. Your trip to California after your visit with us in Washington should be most enlightening, and we're delighted you're going. There in my home state, you'll have the opportunity to see American know-how put to use in producing food and fiber, and to visit firms which already are working with Algeria. This is even more appropriate, Mr. President, because of the similarity in climate between California and Algeria. And that similarity gives me a good idea of just how wonderful your country really is. Americans are proud of our past participation in Algerian development projects, and we hope to build upon what has already been accomplished. Your material resources in Algeria are vast, Mr. President, but I'm sure you will agree that the Algerian people are your greatest treasure. We're gratified that at this time, Algerian students are studying at American universities and technical institutes. The knowledge they gain will enable them to contribute to Algeria's progress and to help create a more prosperous future for our country. They will also serve as a human bridge of friendship between our peoples. This is the kind of technology transfer that we can all be proud of. American educational institutions are open and will remain open to those who would master the keys to development. 
In doing so, we seek to build a more prosperous world and to establish with you relations based on goodwill and mutual respect. Mr. President, again, I give to you my good wishes and those of the American people. And in closing, I want to express our collective gratitude for the role which you and your government played in obtaining release of our Tehran hostages in 1981. It was a gallant effort and was in keeping with Algerian tradition. The records show that your great national hero, Abd el Kader al Jazeera, personally saved Americans and others from similar danger in Damascus in 1860. And we're grateful that you are following in his proud footsteps. I look forward to spending this time with you in our discussions on matters of importance to both of us. And Mr. President, we greet you as a friend. سيد الرئيس أشكركم على عبارة الترحيب الحارة التي وجهتوهما إلينا وعلى حفاوة الاستقبال المتميز التي خصصتموه لنا وللوفد الذي رفقنا إن هذه الأرض الطيبة التي وحدت بنا رجال جاءوا من مختلف أرجاء الأرض وبنت بهم أمة عظيمة from all lands into one great nation. أن تواجدنا هنا نريد من خلاله أن ننقل من الشعب الجزائري رسالة احترام والصداقة إلى الشعب الأمريكي. We are here to bring a message of friendship and respect from the Algerian people to the American people. أن الشعب الجزائري يعرف حق المعرفة بأنه أقرب يكون إلى المبادئ التي قامت من أجلها الثورة الأمريكية وقادت خطاها فقد تركت تلك الثورة أثارا عميقا في المسيرة التاريخية للتاريخية نحو انتزاع الحريات كما يذكر كذلك العلاقات التي تأسست في وقت مبكر بين بين بلدينا مباشرة بعد استقلال الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية Algerian people have a strong sense of communion with the principles that animated and guided the American Revolution, which represented one of the turning points in the history of the quest for freedom. They also recall the ties that our two nations develop very soon after the independence of the United States of America. <laughs> بمجرد استرجاعات سيادتها إلى إقامة الحوار مع بلدكم في ظل الاحترام المتبادل واستطيع أن نقول بأن هذا الحوار أتاح لنا على مر السنين أن نعرف بعضنا البعض بشكل أفضل وأن نتيح وأن نوضح بدقة مفاهيم كل منا وندرك الانشغالات الخاصة بكل واحد منا في مواجهة تحديات عصرنا الحاضر. It is only natural that once it had regained its sovereignty, Algeria dedicated itself to restoring a dialogue with your country. I can say that through the years, this dialogue allowed us to know each other better, to define our perceptions, and to better understand our respective approaches towards the challenges of our times. ومن هنا تأتي زيارتنا هذه في أوانيها لتعمق طيار المحاورة التي حفظنا عليه سواء بالنسبة لعلاقاتنا الثنائية أو بالنسبة للقضايا الدولية الكبرى التي تسترعي اهتمامنا المشترك. 
This visit will be an opportunity to enhance our communication with regard to bilateral as well as international issues that are of common interest. في أن هناك إمكانيات لتنمية تعاون نشيط بين الجزائر والولايات المتحدة الأمريكية يقوم على احترام مصالح طرفين. Cooperation and trade, the United States and Algeria have undoubtedly experienced benefits to both our economies. It is undeniable that there is room for development of a dynamic cooperation that respects the interests of both partners. Mr. President, the country is united in the United States and the Mr. President, my country is strongly committed to the ideals of the goal of the United Nations to achieve peace and development for all the nations of this world. يسده السلام والتقدم المتبادل ويسعدني ويستند إلى حقيقة الترابط القائم بين الأمم. It is an established fact in this context that progress and peace should maintain an intimate and interacting relationship. The objective of the interdependent prosperity called for by the non-aligned countries is founded on the principle of mutual interdependence and upon a quest for a world of peace and progress. وبينما تتراكم الأزمات وتزداد بؤر التوتر يصبح من العاجل ومن المحتم على المجموعة الدولية أكثر من أي وقت مضى أن تبادر إلى توحيد جهودها وإلى تعبية طاقة طاقته الإبداعية والاتفاق حول الأعمال التي تتطلبها بصورة حيوية فإن حيوية إقامة عهد من السلام والأمن والتنمية في العالم While crises accumulate and areas of tension multiply there is more than ever an urgent need for the international community to combine its efforts, to summon up its collective imagination, and to take the actions necessary to bring about an era of peace, security, and worldwide development. In the Jazair, la tu'amil bi anna abqariyat al-insan. Aqool anna al-Jazair, la tu'amil bi anna fi abqariyat al-insan. Masadar la tundib li khidmati al-amal al-jama'i Algeria believes that man is endowed with limitless abilities that can benefit the collective work of peace and progress. وعلى قدر ما تستخدم هذه الموارد جميعا من أجل هذا الهدف الرئيسي الذي يوضع فوق كل اعتبار فإن العمل لتحقيق مصير الإنسان سوف يعرف. مصير الإنسان سوف يعرف مجرى آخر غير مجرى التمزق والفاق وشكر. As these capabilities are shared in order to achieve the most important task, human destiny will take a course other than that of dissension and poverty. And thank you, Mr. President.
Good. President, please conclude the ceremony. Yesterday we embraced you in the Levant's last 